quick. Tastes like Islands of Adventure smells. Hello, everybody. Princess Nevera here. We're back at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure because it's time to go on another adventure. Confisco adventure. Yes, the menu has changed, which means that we're here to see that change. And see how it compares to Mythos. Let's just hope they don't try to poison us. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. margarita. It's just a regular lime. I got a trone in it instead of the tequila it comes with but is still vegan but I just like the trone better. It's very tart. Not bad. I will give it like a three out of five margaritas. There is never not a good time for margarita. I say this while actively avoiding margarita in certain situations. Either way, food adventure. It's not puckeringly sour. You still get the tequila on the back end. That's how I prefer my margaritas to be. It's hard enough to feel like I could spit fire if I wanted to. But without the spice. Three and a half out of five. This thing sounds more like a dessert than a drink, but a pineapple molasses cake punch. I feel like the punch is just the fact that it's liquid. But all the different things in here, look at that. That is a suspect looking drink. Murky. Like the waters of the lake in the middle of the island of the region. Super sweet. That's like cake through a straw. Princess hates pineapple. None for her. Uh, it tastes like cake, liquefied cake. You're getting like the, the hint of the, like the frosting on top. You're getting definitely the the pineapple punch in the back of your throat, and it's a little thick. Not like syrupy thick, but thick enough to where I feel like cake. Cake, please. Three and a half at five claws. I'm very excited for this. I don't think I've had a restaurant. Um, artichoke hummus before. You usually just get like the spinach artichoke pack thing from Publix. So these cute little pitas here. It is a little bit thicker than mythos. It's still on the watery side. I kind of like it. You don't taste um, artichoke throughout. It's very subtle. It's almost like just a standard hummus with artichoke on the top, like a roasted artichoke. I'm gonna have to like cut it up so I can eat it and like put it in all of my things, but oh no, it's a good, it's a good hummus. 100% better than the, the watery hummus that we got at Mythos. I still need to take down that sign. It is, this restaurant, I feel, at least from a hummus perspective, is definitely better than Mythos and should have the sign here instead. Oh, um, four out of five hummuses. We like a well-decorated hummus. Sometimes it's about the fixings, you know? You want to see something special. I'm going to take actually one of these crackers here. It's a balancing act in this tray. Crack one of these bad boys. And we're going to do a whole scoop. I want to get some of this topping, I want to get some of the corn, even like a single onion on here, a little green. I want to get this full flavor they're going for here. Mm. Okay. The way everything's in here, the onion, the corn, even the artichoke, it's almost like a Mediterranean salsa on top of a hummus, and I'm here for that. And the artichoke was a bit more diced, and it's sort of like sprinkled all over, like the corn and the onion on it, along with this cucumber. I think that would be the way. It's definitely tasty and flavorful. Very good for the table to share. Four and a half out of five claws. If it was a little bit thicker consistency, it might be a five out of five for me. I just chopped up all of the artichoke. Let's put in my hummus, so I'm gonna see how it tastes with chopped up artichoke in it. 
This is a huge bite. I might regret this decision, but I commit to my mistake. This is the way. This is 100% how you have to eat it. It totally changes the flavor to make it like that much better. So 3.75 out of five hummuses, and of course, better than Mitha's. Return of the hummus. Like Return of the mummy, but tastier. No, that's not true. Return of the mummy is definitely tastier. Either way. Good. Scoop. I'm gonna left minute on it. There we go. There we go. Mm. With the hummus chopped up, it's really bringing that description of the Mediterranean salsa on top of the hummus to life. I can still stand the hummus to be a tad bit thicker though. Look that. Same four and a half out of five claws. Use that same four and a half out of five claws. The rating stinks. It seems everywhere I go, ahi, tuna, nacho, haunt me. I think I've always sort of seen Alves Adventure as the animal kingdom of Universal, even though they don't even remotely compare to each other, both in layout, ride, and sort of like theme. But I miss the ahi tuna nachos for what they used to be a yak and yeti. They've definitely gone down over the years. I mean, it's like the wafer thin, loaded with the tuna. This is a pretty display. But this is a pretty display that's gonna transfer into something that's gonna taste or something I want. These chips are already looking like kind of sus. Super thick, maybe a little overcooked. But we shall see. The hardest part about tuna nachos is getting the tuna on the nacho. This is already gonna be a mess. Too late, I'm covered in stuff already. Here we go. Got ink. Lost my tuna. Don't do it like me, kids. Use your foot, use your subway. Mm. I'm definitely getting that um, lot of flavor with the ahi tuna, which cook perfectly. The sauces are good, the sesame seeds. The one problem I do have is the wontons, they are greasy. Like grease in the wontons, which I was afraid of. Which brings what would otherwise be like a great dish down a peg. It's good, but it could be better. Two and a half out of five claws, but I may come back and change that rating. We have a very beautiful salad that I don't really have to toss myself. You've just got everything all up in here. Beautiful with some avocado dressing and also some falafel. I think I'm gonna try the salad by itself first if I can actually get it on my fork and then I'll add the falafel afterwards. All right, cheers. Mm. I think I just got up close and personal with this salad. The leaf went almost up my nose. The dressing is really tasty. It's very like light and refreshing. I think it'll pair really well with my hummus. So I'm, I'm into it. I really think it's the dressing that sets it off because there's really not like a whole bunch going in this salad. It's just some shredded carrots, some chickpeas, tomatoes, edamame. But overall, I would say it tosses my salad. I will give it a three and a half out of five avocados. And now I'm gonna try the falafel. So this falafel feels very dry on the fork. It's got a nice color to it. It smells good. Let's see. It looks, or it tastes a lot more moist than it looks, which is great. Is it a false family falafel? No. But is it a competitor of that? Absolutely. I mean, and that's one of the better falafels on, at any theme park. I would say this is probably number two. It's up there. Um, Falafel is a four and a half out of five falafel. And together it'll be interesting. It'll be a nice marriage. I had like a, a chickpea party here today. So, restaurant salads I wasn't expecting. They're gonna be really good. 
really mid. Mid in the most derogatory form of the word. This salad, a bunch of greenery. Got some carrot pieces in here. You got some roasted chickpeas, edamame. Huge chunks of tomato. That's a choice. And then falafel. Let's dive into we get a little fork here. There you go. Out of my man. Maybe chicken, maybe? No? Possibly. That's what happened. That was probably more than I wanted. This may be a weird comparison. But this salad tastes like Andalusia smells. I don't know if it's a good thing. And the dressing is definitely a bright spot. The greens are a bit weak. I'm not hungry. Maybe because they're a bit over the sauce. There's a lot of dressing on this plate. Makes the leaves very soggy. And the carrots are basically like limp noodles. Tomatoes are way too big. And you can't get any of the chickpeas on the fork. And I've talked about this in other videos. Why I like things in salad, but they don't go well on the fork. It's kind of more pain than it is to eat them. Is. You can't stab a chickpea with the fork. It just doesn't work. Oh, it's tasty. As it is, I'm gonna give it three out of five plus. Slightly above average. That's for these falafels. I feel like they could have given the princess one more. Just round it up. Three is a weird number. I like the falafel. I don't know if I like it with the salad. I'd be happier if it was like a side of salad and then falafel. Also a three. The plate's just a solid three. Pretty close to me, but better than most. Here we have the Chipotle chicken wrap. I want to put a little bit lighter fare. I don't like to eat really heavy when we're planning to walk around parks. Uh, now, this is a cold wrap, which they made sure to tell me. I guess most people would expect a warm one. Oh, they they toothpicked them together. Now, it normally does come with sour cream. I didn't get sour cream, not because I don't have lactate on me, my magic pills, because I don't feel like munching down on lactate sometimes. It's annoying. And for different types of cream, sometimes I take a lot of it. So, just the chicken, you got cheese in here, uh, chipotle, it was a chipotle sour cream, so I'm probably gonna use a little bit of the chipotle flavor, but let's just see how it is on its own. Chicken's nice and juicy. Got tomato in there, got some lettuce in there. The cheese is good. It's definitely cold. I like refrigerated cold. It's not bad. You're definitely missing out on the chipotle. You get like a light hint of chipotle, but without the chipotle sour cream, you need that punch of chipotle. It's a chicken wrap. Like a grab and go chicken wrap. Two and a half out of five bowls. We have frites. I passed the fry test. They feel like double cooked. Even crispiness. We're doing alright. Let's see how they test. I try crispy. That's a much better fry than I was expecting. I was expecting some lazy shoestring fry. It's a nice crunch to them. I'll give those three and a half out of five plus. Overall, the whole plate still getting three. Fisco, Fisco. Fisco? Fisco. Con Fisco. Con Fisco. Code. Code Fisco? Something. It was an adventure. The food at Fisco continues to be what we feel to be some of the better food here at Isla's Adventure. I agree. Definitely better than its lack of competition in this park, for sure. We missed the Passholder Lounge the last time they opened it up at Confisco, so I'm excited that we got to try it this time. It was our first time up there. It was really not. It wasn't our first time up there. No. We've had a guided tour up guided there tour. before. Never eaten up there before. We haven't eaten up there before. That was our first time. It was pleasant, very quiet compared to the downstairs floor, so if you can go up there at we some point. We suggest it. I highly suggest. The views are nice. Especially if it's on a hot day, sit outside. Our server was great. One thing I do have to say, and I, I'm not trying to be one of those food reviewers that hates on plating. I never wanted to be one of those. But I do have to say, I don't like it when I get a plate 
and it's dirty on the bottom so like when I touch it my hands get dirty I had to clean both of my plates in order to touch them even just sliding it over like like when my hummus came like there was so much hummus on the bottom I, I literally dirtied my napkin and asked for another one it was just terrible I would not serve that in my own home and I thought that that was pretty disgraceful that they couldn't clean their plates properly but also that's so super nitpicky of me that I can't fault them for that it's just I guess a pet peeve I don't like to get my fingers dirty with excess food that shouldn't be there dirty plates are not fun <laughs> But we know what you guys think of Visco. Why would you not pick Visco over other options here at Universal Studios Orlando? Let us know in the comments below. If there's anywhere else you'd like to see us go, of course, it's always a new place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, you know Bear, he likes to eat himself into bodies of water. So he'll eat himself into this water if you don't comment. Am I a bear or a whale now? But you heard the girl. Bears like water? I guess I guess I guess lunch was funny.